Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arabella and this is Arabella's Palace. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please give me a thumbs up. So, today I'm going to be giving you like eight or seven ideas to do when you're bored. Since it's still pretty much boring if you don't have a sport to go to. Or I have a sport, but I didn't go today, so I'm kind of bored. I'm not usually bored when I get back home because I have ideas to do. Usually, not really. But, um, so the first one is to plan a tent, um, a camping tent, or just a mini little tent, or you can make one, a big fort if you want to, or, um, anything. You can play in the air with toys. So all of this is pretty much playing, just before we get on, playing with stuff, or doing something, pretty much playing. If you don't like playing, well, sorry didn't help you but the next one is um um you can play with legos i don't really build i don't have legos i do but they're like there's no instructions guide and there's no people in there so you pretty much just free build um and you can do that too if you have sets you can mix up the legos whatever you want to do um, if you don't like playing with Legos, if you have a sibling, you can tell them that if they're bored, they can play with them. They can play with their Legos, um, if they like it. Um, next, you can play with Barbies. Um, I like playing with them sometimes. Um, so you can play with Barbies if you want to, just like I said, by playing Legos. If you don't like playing with it, whatever. Um, you can play with your siblings. So... I like to do this thing where we um, get in a room, like the living room. We usually, we did the toy room in the living room and like area. It was a really big area, but we only had like certain spots that we did it at. Um, so we split the room in half and then you bring like, you can bring as many toys as you want to you can bring a like you can bring only barbies or you can bring barbies and legos or you can bring stuffed animals um and you can have like a world i like doing barbies and having barbie world and they go on a camping trip with their camper um my brother usually brings dinosaurs or little men they're like little action figures or whatever you want to call them. He hasn't really done Legos yet, so I don't know. I think Legos would be harder to do, but, um, so you can, if you don't have a sibling, or if you do, you can still do both, you can do it. Um, you can play a babysitting game, um, and, um, like, I play with my for real friends. Um, they have these on them. For real, for real friends. And they have a switch on the bottom of them so they can move and do stuff. My two favorite ones are the panda. And I did not know who was there. This dog, um, you can probably find this on Amazon because stores are not selling. They're selling a bear right now. It's a bear, a bear, and they might have a tiger there. But those are the most expensive ones, I feel like. Um, so these have, this has a leash on it. I feel like this is like one of the first, this is my first one, but I don't know if it was the first for real friend that they had. Um, so they have, this one has a switch on the bottom. You turn it, they have a, um, they have a way of waking up. So they don't move, and they might have batteries in them, and they might not work. So you would have to, for this one, there's a button, and you press that for it to wake up. This one doesn't really have a wake-up switch. My panda, um, you open up her mouth, because she has a bottle, but I don't have it. So you just open up her mouth. And then for the cat, like, she just moves. Mostly the ones that walk. Or, like, do certain things. Like, special ones, I guess. They have a wake-up switch. Like, my brother's dinosaur, you press the back of its tongue. Um, next. Or you can use your sibling to play as a babysitter person. 
the person who, the kid who comes in and be the kid. Um, you can play with your LOLs if you have LOLs or OMG dolls. You can play with them. Um, um, you can make something. I have made a Barbie bunk bed. Not for this video, but just to make it because I saw this. You use a shoe box and pretty much cardboard. So I will show you this bed. Um, actually, I'm just going to put it in front of you guys. So we have this. It's a shoe box, but the little, if you have a lid, then just like take off the lid and don't use it but mine had a um like um lid that you can like just fold so i cut that and used a little bit of that i don't know if you can see but i used a little bit of it to um make a little railing for it and it's a watermelon bed because i love watermelons absolutely love them i got felt not really good felt, like thick felt, I guess. Um, that's just the headband that was on there. This is one of my new Chelsea dolls. And no, that is not supposed to be a skirt. It's one. It's supposed to be those masks that you wear on your neck and like pull over your nose kind of mask. So, so um, uh, it, they didn't really work. My Grammy made them, so I just used it for a skirt as her. I don't know if you watched the video. I don't know if I said that before, but I feel like I have. So this is just a cute little watermelon bed. I feel like, yeah, I, I've showed you guys this before. Um, if you haven't seen that video, that is my clean room. It's not, it's not terrible in here right now, but um, it was very clean and beautiful. Um, this is the uh, mattress. Um... And that's a little watermelon pillow. It's the same down there, just different colors. So, and that's my one of my mermaid Barbies. So we're just gonna slide that over there. Um, next, you can read a book. So if you're really bored, I got these two bad boys to show you. They're really um, first one. I have already started reading. Um, it's called Absolutely Truly. I have to read this book for this summer for fifth grade. For fifth grade, I have to read it. Um, and this one, we it was in this book. Like, it's the same author, so it was... Yeah, it was in... Like, she used this book because they have a library, so it's in there, and it's a mystery. So they're trying to figure out a mystery, and then about these books that they're selling. So they're called the Mother Daughter Book Club. And um, I haven't started reading this because the chapters are so long. Um, haven't read it yet, but it is about a book club. And I'm about to start fifth grade, so. Um, so it's, if you could hear that. Sorry, but um, it's um for like, it's not just for fifth graders, it's about, you know, that. So, um, if you want to get those, um, just let me show you the Mother Daughter Book Club. That's the first book. I always, st you always start, if it's a series, they have a series. So, you always start with the first, you always start with the first book. And this one is called Absolutely Truly. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um... Next, um, you can play on your trampoline if you have one, or if you don't, if you have a playground, if you don't really have anything, just play outside, um, you can, I have this game that I like to play, it's, um, Dragon Camp, um, I have, I just make up my own thing because I love dragons. Just make up your own game, and it can be your own little game that you made, and you can play with your friends when they come over, hopefully, if they can. Not a lot of my friends can come over, so. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, my parents are leaving, so I have to pack, help them pack, and then I'm going to do these things except i'm not gonna make anything i might make something just whatever you want to do so thanks for watching bye